Hello, <laughs> welcome to Dive. The underscore Dive. A it's not an indie horror game, but it is a game based on uh, escapism and fantasy. Let, let me double check. Yes, escapism and reality. It is a game that'll apparently take one hour to do, and it's not meant apparently for those that have. Uh, oh wait, I can't remember. If you have anxiety, apparently, and I'm supposed to play it with a headphone, uh, or with a, with a headset, is is recommended. But let's get into it. Maybe it'll be an interesting experience. Thank you for purchasing our newly developed full dive system. Ooh, is this fucking sword art online? You're about to connect to Alcaron, our first and currently only running server. Oh. Alcaron is a fantasy realm where players can team up and go on adventures. Did I accidentally step into Sword Art Online? I'm gonna be plunged into a game and I can't escape. Am I dying in the game? I die in real life. The server is currently capable of hosting 4,000 players in a 100 kilometer square meter island. Sorry, 100 kilometer square island, not, not meter. Uh, warning! We do not recommend playing for longer than three hours. Well, thankfully the game is only one hour long in a single session. Prolonged exposure to the full dive server can result in system errors or addiction. I don't get how this game is actually starting like this. With that, we thank you again. Welcome to Alcron. If this was for a VR game, I would understand, but I'm not playing with VR. Am I supposed to say something really cringy? Fucking like saying Link Start or something? Link start. I'm in an office room. How exciting. Ah. Consciousness, transmission, human test protocol, HTP0.13a. An anomaly was detected in your transmission. It might be massive. Actually, I was going to say something, but I'm going to cut myself off. No being curious about that. Please complete this simple verification test before proceeding to the server. The test will only commit your brain activity to memory, so do not worry about how you answer the individual questions. We apologize for the inconvenience. For safety reasons, you may exit from Alcaron. Uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the game name right, too. Once you have completed the test. All right. I'm guessing that's the starting area. Face test. I guess we can do that. I'm curious what's over here. It is closed off for now. <laughs> Alright, let's do a face test. What is this? Is this face happy or sad? I mean, happy or sad? I like these games. Look at this. Gonna be one of those games. If you guys like to see when I talk philosophically or have responses of my own and my little mini rants I can have in games, this is gonna probably be added to those. Hey, these games make me go rant sort of thing. Let's say happy. Obviously, these are very basic questions. Is that is that it? That that's it? No. Oh. It's a smiley face. If you said sad, you'd be an idiot. It's not about, like, some kind of, I don't know, subjective reality based on perception where it's like, that person's smiling, thus we're going to possibly give that it could be an illusion or a front that the person could be sad and he's just smiling. It's not evidence of happiness. Say, like, shut the fuck up. It's a smiley face, let's just keep it simple. A smiley face, it means it should be happy. I'm not gonna overcomplicate something so simple. Music test. Is this music happy sounding? It doesn't really make me feel anything, really. It's it's kind of uh, it's basic. But I mean, the game's expecting me to you know say happy more than likely, so I'm just gonna give it what it wants for now, so we can proceed onto the actual good questions. Moral! Ooh, I'm good with morals. A father of three passed away in a traffic accident. A father of three. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a sad thing. I mean, I, I don't really feel... I don't, I don't fake my feelings. They're strangers, I don't know them, so I'm not going to force myself to feel. But, sad. I'm obviously not happy about the news. But if I'm going to be very blunt, I mean, it's a fictional test. I can't feel sad for a hypothetical scenario that doesn't exist. So they're like saying, how would you hypothetically feel in this hypothetical scenario? I would hypothetically feel sad, now wouldn't I? If 
I felt happy, I mean, that would be a little, a little wrong, but... Feeling nothing or sad are basically the correct answers. Check. Checking results. You are normal human. Thank you, human. Did I do something wrong? Consciousness transmission human test. What are you making sure I'm not a bot? Anomalies detected during recursive cerebral analysis. 99.97% human. So there's a 0.03% chance that I am a bot. What, you think I'm a fucking Russian bot or something? Fuck off. Gonna give me new questions or just gonna make me repeat until I... Happy. I mean, if I redo the same answers, it's probably going to give me the same result. Or can I go in this door now? So it's like, this is this is the game, and it's it's a protection measure to make sure I'm not some kind of Russian bot. Are you a Russian bot? Are you going to screw our servers? You have to make sure I'm not a Russian. When I say Sukoblio, does it piss you off? Happy. I'm only going to repeat the same answers once. After that, I'm going to... I'm going to do the complete opposite. The game will think, Oh, you sound regular, you sound like a human. You're, you're pretty fucked up. It makes me feel sad. It still makes me feel hypothetically sad. Can we move on, please? And... I don't... I, like, I, need, I don't see a reason that I need to uh, change my answers because this stupid thing thinks I'm a bot or something. Oh, it went down! Anomalies detected during recursive cerebral analysis. 99.964. So I went down. Or did I go down? It was 99.97, wasn't it? And now it's 64 instead of 70. I went down by 0.006%. Hmm. Alright, um, since it changed, I will skip ahead and just do my same answers all over again to see what happens. Oh, wait, never mind the thing. It, it changed. Is this a happy face or sad? Well, I'm paying attention, so sad. I was thinking the game was, uh, trying to force me to change my answers to appease this incompetent system. still happy. I'm not sure if the music changed or if they added more bass to it, but still isn't depressive music. It isn't Linkin Park crawling in my skin. A father of three passed away in the traffic accident. Sad. Checking results. <sighs> what now? Oh, I'm more human now. Well, that's good. I need a machine to tell me that I'm, uh, you know, a little less than a little less than full human. Well, let's do it again. I mean, if it's going to change shit up, at least hopefully soon. Is this face happy or sad? It is sad. At this point, I mean, I'm just going to skip ahead unless the ch uh, the questions do change. But if it's going to keep repeating. I obviously don't need to keep showing the same thing. Hmm? They fade to black instead. Wasn't it always fade to white? Oh, it went down again. Oh, okay. Anomalies detected. I mean, I would just stop playing the game right now. The system's broken and it's wasting my time. I thought I was joining some kind of medieval... Oh, back, back to happy or sad. Okay. I thought I was playing an MMORPG sort of shit with only like 4,000 players and whatnot, and I'm like one of the first to buy, and I was like, oh yeah, let's let's get into game. The character we're playing, mind you. Alright, what now? Wow, it's going down even more. Um, I'm wondering if the game is just trying to trick me as into seeing if the first... Like, say, you got a happy face happy music and then give me a sad thing. I think it's trying to make it so I change my answers subconsciously. How does it make me feel? Oh wait, it's asking a different question now. How does the face make you feel rather than 
Wasn't there the question, is this a happy face or not? Or did I just completely forget? Because of my own really bad memory. Either way, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm gonna just have to answer all the questions as I remember them. This is the, still the same goddamn music. Happy face, happy music, and then sad accident. A father of three still died in a traffic accident. Well, you want me to do like happy, happy, happy? You give me like sad, sad, and then you expect me to write happy to sort of, you know, break the, uh, break the streak or something? Oh, he's gone. Wait, I spawned this way. I spawned backwards. Well, that's different. I'm even less human than before. Excellent. Oh, is this face? Yeah, see, it's, you know, it's, at least it wasn't me just, like, getting confused and uh, questioning if the question changed and how much did it change. But is this face sad? Yes, it is. It is. Wait, fuck you, game. What are you doing? It's, that's That's not a right question. It's forcing me to pick the wrong question. I don't... I'm wrong answer. I don't like that. Your game... Your, your game testing, making sure I'm not a Russian bot, is broken. I don't like it. Wait. It said tight. It said test. It doesn't say face test. 1382. This is more slow mo. I wouldn't say putting up a song through slow mo instantly makes it sad, but. It's not exactly happy, but it's not really sad either, it's neither. I'll just hit sad because that's what the game wants me to do. Hey, if you want something, something that can get slowed down and sound sad, it's piano music. Piano music can sound happy and sad depending on the speed. A father of th wait, what? I saw that little flicker, what was that in the middle? Father of three burned to death! Sad, happy. I want to see if I can read what it's twitching. He deserved it. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, sad. How dare you feel sad that a father of three burned to death? You're clearly not human. You must be Russian. And be a bot. Now what am I? Ooh, 98.2% and please try again. This is fucking like a goddamn Apple OS? I don't know, man. Everything's white like an Apple would be. How's... Oh, music's over here now. How's this music? What music? There's no speakers here. There, I hit one of the buttons. This is gonna have the smiley face in here. And the buzzing phone. Oh, face button. Oh, 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 what? Teleported me. Peculiar. Hey! We, we hit a button because of phone. It's also less white in here. Home. Checking results. I'm gonna be super less human now, aren't I? 94%. What's the red say? Say brain damage? Crany. Mm -mm. It says cranial damage. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Ooh, that's a nice looking face. Question mark. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Something about AI. God damn it. 
It's flickering so fast. Is can an AI something? There's a conversation happening there. What the hell? What? Well, I mean, as long as I watch this and you guys can pause it, you'd be able to see what's being typed there. I'm just going to leave it so when it starts to repeat, I'm just going to hit the question mark and move on. Because what it says could be interesting, but I can't read it at the speed it's going at. Well, it looks a little happier now. Sad face. Any other things that will flicker? There you go. I just hit the button, whatever. Moving on! It's red at the end of the hallway? I don't know if I would like that, but... What does this say now? Oh. He's in better... Oh, oh. He's in a better place than you. Is he? My like have cranial damage. Oh wait. Plot twist. I am the person who got in the car accident. He's in a better place. Plot twist, I'm the guy that got in a car crash. Hmm. But if that were true, and this system was saying that he's in a better spot. Hypothetically, my character, the computer saying, I am, I'm, here's what I'm thinking. It is a VR that, let's say our character is like comatose or like sort of in a hospital and he's been put in a VR system. Um, I think I remember seeing a scientific study based on what VR could do. Like, so people that are bedridden in a hospital that they would get in uh, injected into a VR world to keep their brain active. Uh, so it could be like, if you get in a car accident, you can't move, or just, you know, just like worst case scenario, but you can still somehow put them in a VR world, that their mind can stay active and healthy whilst they're in the bed in the hospital. And that would be a potential future. Cranial damage. So, maybe, I'm, I'm presuming that is essentially what's going on here right now. Because we are someone in the hospital, got in a car crash, but we're connected to a VR world while surgery happens, or while anything happens, or while we are waking up, if we wake up, help. Hmm. Strange. What? I mean, I'll just... Boop. I'm wondering if this game has any mild horror elements in this. Because the game store did warn that if you have anxiety, you shouldn't play this. Or, um... Epilepsy, I think, was the other one. When are you coming home? What? Home. Uh, help, help. Well, no wonder they said I should wear a headset. I'm hearing it now. Help! I'm stuck in a creepy VR world where my imagination is sort of manipulating the VR world and it's sort of nightmarish. Get me out of here.
Gut. Am I human still? Click. Gut. Sounded like my own mouse click. The fuck are you? Dealing with creepy gray babies now. I wasn't wasn't expecting that. The game didn't say anything about horror. Or else it maybe could have in the, the tags, but I didn't check the tags. I mean, actually, it's Game Jolt, not Itch.io. In Itch.io, you can look at tags. In Game Jolt, not really. Why am I hearing mouse clicks? At least I'm not, like, hearing myself or anything. I cannot read that, but maybe if you guys pause and reverse it, you would be able to. Weird gray baby things. Great. Why? He's my dead kids from the car crash? Make it stop. Cranial damage. Well then, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to continue on in the next episode. It might just be two parts, or I might make it into a three-part system, uh, part, three-part series, depending on how long the entire game is. But it's just, it's honestly, obviously, honestly and obviously, shit's sort of, sort, sort of starting to hit the fan. But either way, I hope you enjoy this game, look forward to more, and that you're as invested into this game as I have become. If you are, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. <clears throat>